Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul with you and I thought this would be interesting to share because usually when I do grocery hauls, it's like I've planned every meal, I've prepped everything out, I have my ingredient list, I'm ready to go when I get to the store. But lately things have been chaotic and crazy for us, which I'm sure it's been the same for a lot of you guys too with the holidays coming up and everything. And a lot of times I just have to run to the grocery store real quick when I have time or do like a pickup order, or drop off, like just randomly whenever I have time. And I don't always sit down and like prep our meals out in advance or have a list going. So I just kind of have like a running list in my head of like quick grab and go things that I'll always grab when I'm at the store, even if I don't have any ideas for dinners or lunches that week. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week, usually on Monday, and it has things like health, fitness, meal prep, recipe ideas, grocery hauls, all kinds of stuff to just help you on your wellness journey. So go ahead and subscribe if you're new. Um, okay, so everything that I got today is from Whole Foods, except for maybe our coffee creamer. I did do like a Publix run and a Whole Foods. So for Whole Foods, I just, a lot of times I do Instacart, a lot of times I do Amazon pickup. So that's what I did this time. It just did like Amazon pickup for Whole Foods and it's just like, so convenient when we're out and about just to be like, oh yeah, let's swing over to Whole Foods and have them put the groceries in the trunk. So we're kind of in like this week before Thanksgiving where we don't need like tons of groceries. We didn't need absolutely everything because I'm getting ready to do a big grocery shop when we host Thanksgiving in a few days. So I just kind of needed a few things to like get us through. And of course I like to feed my kids healthy meals, have dinners at home as much as we can. And then now I'm 25 weeks pregnant. So of course like properly fueling myself and the baby is important to me. So I'm still focusing on like healthy things, lots of protein, lots of fiber all that stuff. I also wanted to share with you guys one of our family's favorite tried and true brands, that's Mary Ruth's Organics. So one of my like all time favorite products is the Liquid Nighttime Multi-Mineral. So we have been taking this for two and a half, three years now. My whole family takes it and loves it. We do the coconut flavor. There's also a pineapple flavor, but it's just so easy and convenient. And I just really love that like we can all take it. So, you know, when I'm not pregnant, when I am pregnant, I've been taking this. Um, some of my favorite benefits, it has vitamin C, D, calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese and chromium and also has a proprietary blend. So what I really like about this is it's just kind of like something that's gonna naturally just help you like relax at night. Um, and then also it just like tastes really good. It's really easy. You know you're getting a lot of vitamins and nutrients and it's good for the whole family. Cold and flu season is here, and I think an easy way to support your whole body is just to make sure you get good rest. It's vital to your overall health and well being, especially during the holidays. And this liquid multi mineral is really high in magnesium, which is so important for sleep regulation. If you don't want something that you take at night, you can also do this one. This is the liquid morning multivitamin. This one just doesn't have the magnesium, I believe. Yeah. So this one will support with energy, beauty, and overall wellness. I'm excited to be partnering with Mary Ruth Organics on this portion of the video. I will have my code right here and down below for you guys, but you can use that on maryruthorganics.com or on Amazon to get an additional 20% off your products. Cold and flu season is here, so I feel like it's a great time to stock up and just make sure your family is getting in those easy supplements that you can take every single day. Like I said, we like this because we can all take the same thing and it's just really easy. Mary Ruth's has clean label project certified products that you can feel good about giving to your kids and your family. I also want to note that my kids enjoy the taste of this. They look forward to it. They ask for it. That's why I never forget because they're always like, where's my coconut stuff? So make sure to use my code with the busy holiday season coming up. We just want to make sure we keep those germs at bay and we're doing everything we can to support our health and regulate our health. So I will have that code for you guys here. Thanks to Mary Ruth for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So first up, I'll show you the coffee creamer that Michael got me hooked on is the Chobani one. So we have to grab, I don't think they had this at Whole Foods. So we usually find it at, maybe they do. I feel like we usually get it at Publix though. And um, the peppermint mocha one has been so good, uh, but we wanted to try the cinnamon coffee cake and we're both kind of like, ooh, this is really good too. But like, you can't go wrong. They're all amazing. So lately I have had a craving for cereal. I feel like every time I'm pregnant, I get like a late night cereal craving around like the third trimester is when I really start to want it. So I got some milk. I got some Organic Valley grass-fed milk. And normally I don't give milk to the kids because I just don't really think about it. They don't ask for it often, but like as soon as I bought this, they're like, oh, 
we have milk and they've been asking for milk all the time now. So we've been going through this like crazy. And then speaking of coffee, I feel like even though I only have one cup a day, um, cause you know, you're supposed to limit it when you're pregnant. I still feel like maybe I'm having a bad reaction from it. It's making my heart race and making me feel kind of jittery. So I picked up some matcha and I'm trying to like perfect my matcha recipe again. I have a really great iced matcha that I love. So, um, I just didn't have the right like milk and everything for it. So I love cashew milk in my matcha. So I think I might switch over to that um, just for the next few months and see if that makes me feel better. Okay, and so some more dairy stuff that I just grab and go is every single week I get yogurt and I get cottage cheese and we eat a lot of this. So speaking of like late night snacks, my kids ask for dessert every night. Like, I don't know about your kids, but like every night they want something sweet after dinner and I don't blame them. I'm like the same way. And so I've really tried to switch it to yogurt and they have absolutely loved it. So I make them little yogurt bowls every night. Sometimes we'll do like the Chobani flips um, or I'll just do like regular yogurt with granola and berries and honey. They love fruit, of course. So anything that they get to eat fruit with, they love it. So I actually haven't tried this this yet. I usually do the Faye um, Greek yogurt, but this time I picked up the Siggy's Skier, which I've never tried. So we'll have to try that out, see if it's any good. Um, and I got some granola to go with it, which I don't know if you can tell, but I have already opened and dug into. Purely Elizabeth is one of my favorite grain-free, gluten-free um, granolas, which I'm not grain-free or gluten-free, but like I said, I have been feeling kind of jittery and racing heart lately. So I'm just trying to cut out um, like extra caffeine or extra like carbs and sugar. So I did have that in mind when I was shopping. So I grabbed this for the yogurt. Okay, so we have been going through eggs like crazy in the mornings. So I actually did have to pick this up from Publix because we've been going through like two 18 egg cartons a week. So when you're pregnant, one of the nutrition goals that's easy to miss is your choline because it's not in a lot of prenatal vitamins. And one of the best ways to get that is through eggs. And so I feel like it's recommended to eat like six eggs a day, which is a lot, I never hit that. But I do try to at least get like three eggs, sometimes more a day. And my kids love eggs, especially Rocco, he loves it. We love to do hard boiled eggs a lot. So I, we just go through them like crazy lately. And then lately, um, Michael's been making them with cottage cheese on top and that's really good too. A great way to get in some extra protein or you guys know I like like cottage cheese toast or just by itself I like cottage cheese with like salt and pepper. So we kind of go through this every week too. A lot of times I'll use this in recipes. Like an, an easy dinner idea that I just grab is ground beef, pasta sauce, and pasta. And I'll grab that every week. I don't have to think about it. My kids eat it, everybody likes it. It's just like a simple pasta. So a lot of times what I like to do is mix cottage cheese into my tomato sauce and it's so good. It makes it high protein and creamy. It kind of gives it more of that like vodka sauce look and taste, it's really good. So trying to get in all my healthy fats. So I picked up some cheese as well too. So um, some of these groceries I picked up the other day, that's why they're already half eaten. And it's because we go through them like crazy. Um, but I wanted to share, I love to grab like a block of Parmesan cheese. Again, we'll use this on the pasta. I'll just grate it over a lot or for different recipes, but we'll also just chop it up and eat it. Like the other day I made a ribeye and I'll just kind of like put this on the side. It's so good. I think it's delicious. I love that like sharp taste of Parmesan. And then this was just like a random find. The brand is Cabot. It's the um, Vermont Sharp Cheddar. Oh, this is so good. I've been having this. We've all been having this with like honey crisp apples. And it's just like the sweet and crunchiness of the apple and then the sharp saltiness of the cheese is so good together. So yeah, if you can find it, the Vermont Sharp Cheddar from Cabot, really good. And then one last thing that's just for me, I try to eat a lot of like probiotic rich foods. And one of my favorite ones is the coconut cult yogurt. So this is just the chocolate mousse one. This is really great just to have a tablespoon or two in the morning. And then I take like a probiotic supplement at night too. So some easy protein snacks for on the go that you can take like for carpool or car rides or just throw in your bag with you are just like pre-made protein shakes and chomps. So I really do like the own protein shakes. I've been drinking these for probably like a I don't know, two, three years now. They have 20 grams of protein. Some of them have 32 grams. They taste really good. They're just like a thin kind of like chocolate milk consistency um, and taste and really good. And then you guys know I love my Chomps beef sticks. So I like the original and the jalapeno. I pretty much always do jalapeno for myself. And then um, Rocco or Michael will eat the regular. Julian doesn't really like them, but I love the jalapeno. 
I believe this has 10 grams of protein and it's just like easy for on the go. I'll always keep one of these in my bags, in my bag. I think it tastes really good and it's just easy because you don't have to have it refrigerated or anything. Oh, and then speaking of protein shakes, sometimes if I make them at home, I, I really try to get in a lot of blueberries every day for the antioxidants, for the brain health, for myself, for the baby. I try to have my kids have blueberries like as often as possible. And so sometimes it's nice just to get frozen blueberries and you can throw them in a shake or even like on top of yogurt. And I thought this one would be really Really good. It has the mangoes, strawberries, and blueberries. So let's get into some easy dinner ideas that I always grab. So like I said, I'll always grab a sauce and a pasta and some ground beef. I have a ton of ground beef here. I have like three different ones. Um, but yeah, this is just super easy. I always have this on hand. If I don't, I'll go to the store and grab a few because it's like one of our staple weeknight dinners is just to have like pasta with meat sauce. It's just so easy. And I really like this brand. If I'm doing like protein pasta, I'll do that. And I love that too. Or spaghetti squash is what I actually got for myself this week. But this is like one of my favorites if I just wanna do like a classic pasta. But yeah, spaghetti squash is one of my favorites. I'll just take it in the microwave, heat it up, and then scrape it out. And it's so good with sauce, with the ground beef. I actually really love doing the cottage cheese recipe with this one. I'll have to make it and share it on stories and save it so you guys can see, but it's one of our like easy staples. So another one of my favorite things to do is just have ground beef. We even sometimes do ground bison and mix it with like some veggies and just kind of do like an easy dinner. A lot of times we'll do chicken with like green beans, basically just like a meat and a veg, it's super easy. So one that we do a lot is like stir fry vegetables with bison or ground beef and some rice. I always have rice on hand. I usually do like the purple bag of jasmine rice. And I went ahead and just grabbed frozen this time because I feel like sometimes we don't use the whole thing or we don't get to it and it goes to waste or whatever. And I was just like, I'm sick of doing that. And I also just wanna have it on hand for a night where we're like, shoot, what do we eat? Okay, we have some meat, we have some veg. We always have rice or potatoes. Let's just like heat that up really quickly. So I grabbed the stir fry blend, we already used it. Um, the Mediterranean blend, carrots, and broccoli. My kids have been really liking broccoli lately, but I feel like it grosses me out when I buy it because it's always like so dirty when you get it just like regularly. So I'm hoping frozen will be better. I also get wild caught salmon delivered every month. Well, I had been, I actually think I'm gonna stop it because I wasn't like super impressed with the quality, but we'll do that once a week too. We'll do salmon with rice and throw some veggies in there, some cucumbers, avocado. I did buy a bunch of avocados and sometimes that's what happens when like you just order the food. I opened it all up and like every single one of them was bad. And that's happened like the last three times I've ordered groceries and it's so annoying because I want to get those healthy fats in and we just all love avocado. And I didn't even get to like, I literally got this last night and they were already bad this morning. And then another easy, I guess we've been eating a lot of ground beef lately. I guess I've kind of had a craving for it. Um, it's just tacos. And like, this is another thing that I've just noticed my kids will eat every single time. You know, when you find those meals that your kids actually eat and it's just like super easy and you realize like they like the easy, simple things. So they love like a crunchy taco shell with ground beef. I usually do some frozen peas and we'll just kind of mix that all up. I'll do some cheese on top, some pico or hot sauce, and they love it, and it takes like 15 minutes. So also from Siete, I like the almond flour tortillas. Again, like I said, if I'm just trying to lower my grains right now, so that's why I grabbed some Siete things. I love these um, with my eggs in the morning. A lot of times I love to do like little um, breakfast burritos, so good. So that's what I usually use these for. And my sister actually recommended this um, brand of like grain-free bread. So I'm gonna have to try it out. You guys know I love to make bread. I literally have rolls going back there right now. Um, but yeah, I'll just try it out and see if I like it. I even grabbed whole wheat because when I do eat um, bread, a lot of times I really like the fiber from the whole wheat, but you don't get that when you make like regular sourdough. So I'm gonna try making a loaf with that's like half bread flour and half whole wheat flour to just up the fiber content a little bit and see how I like it. Another easy meal, I grabbed a rotisserie chicken. Usually I do make the chicken because it's easy just to grab it and then use it when I want it. Cause I find that if you don't use the rotisserie chicken really fast, it's not as good. But, um, and I have seen where you could just buy the rotisserie chicken already peeled. But for some reason, I just don't like the thought of that. I don't know why. So anyways, I got a rotisserie chicken. 
Um, and I'm gonna just make chicken salad. That's like one of my favorites that I have been craving for lunch like multiple times a week during my whole pregnancy. And my family really likes it too. So um, I'll just do some celery, some fresh dill, some red onion, and I'll throw in like Greek yogurt, mayo, seasonings. I usually do a little Dijon or a little um, sweet pepper relish. And it's really good and easy and lasts for like the week in the fridge. So some snacks that we all love is chips and dip or dip and veggies. Um, I just love cucumbers lately. So, and Rocco does too. So I grabbed some cucumbers and some hummus. He loves this like garlic dip. I'll show you. I get it from either Costco or Publix. So this is like his absolute favorite dip and he will eat this with any type of chip cracker, vegetable, he just loves this dip. He eats it on everything and it's really, really good. Um, Trader Joe's also has like a really similar one, but I grabbed some hummus just for like a little extra protein and the cucumber. And then um, if they want it with crackers, they love these plantain chips. And I don't shop at, or I hadn't been shopping at Whole Foods for a few months just because I had had the time during the summer to go into the store and like buy stuff. And so I had been going to like Aldi and just different stores. Um, but Whole Foods is just so convenient when I need to just like grab it and go and have it put in the car. And this is like one of my kids' favorite snacks and I can never find this at like Publix or the other stores. So they're just like salty plantain chips. Julian loves these. So I grabbed those for him and the coconut chips. This used to be one of his favorites and I was like, oh, he's gonna love this. We're gonna get, I'm gonna bring this like to him when I pick him up from school and he's gonna love it. And then he said he didn't like it anymore, but Rocco liked it. And then let's talk a little bit of breakfast. So I showed you guys, I do sometimes the eggs with the cottage cheese and the tortillas or the um, like breakfast burritos. So I like to do like a chicken sausage usually. Sometimes I'll pick it up from Costco. I just haven't been there in a while. This is my other favorite brand, the Applegate. The chicken and make bowl ones are my favorites, but I also grab some of the savory turkey. This is just like an easy way for me to up my protein in the morning. I love a savory breakfast. I think it's so good. It's what I've been craving lately. And I'll just make these and chop them up with like some hash browns or like some leftover potatoes, eggs, and then roll them up in the little burrito with some cheese. A few weeks ago, I got like the Whole Foods 365 version of this chicken sausage and I did not like it and I do not like the taste. So if you can try to get the Applegate ones. Um, and then this is our favorite bacon. We usually get this Applegate bacon. I usually try to get the like, sun, it's called like Sunday morning bacon or something, but this was the no sugar one. So we'll make that on the weekends. And then one of my go-to breakfasts lately, if I am craving a sweet breakfast, is protein pancakes. What I do is take a banana and I mash it up and I do two servings of egg whites, like 100 grams of egg whites. And then I do a scoop of vanilla protein powder and some cinnamon. It's so easy. There are other ways you can like jazz it up and add things to it, but this is just so fast and easy that I really like like bare bones recipe like this. And I'll just throw it on the skillet and it makes like three or four big pancakes. And I'll do some like PB2 mix on top and it's so good if I want a sweet breakfast that still has tons of protein. And then I picked up this um, seven Sunday cereal because like I said, I've been having my cereal craving at night, but I wanted something just like a little bit healthier. So I grabbed this one. Julian and I both ate a bowl of it last night when I got it and it's very good. It's like super crunchy and berry and like a kind of lemony berry. It's really good. Um, and then I got some canned salmon. I am trying to eat my salmon, like I said, every single week. And um, I had been having that shipment delivered at the house and it was just enough for us to have it like once a week, sometimes a little bit more, but I just wasn't super impressed with the quality. So I need to find somewhere else to get it from. And in the meantime, I grabbed just a can of like canned salmon and I'll make it just like I would make like a tuna salad. But I think that's everything I picked up. So these are kind of the things that I randomly grab, like our staples that we'll always keep on hand to get us through to make like easy breakfast, easy lunch and dinners that my whole family will enjoy and some snacks to get us through. So I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. I will see you after that. Enjoy time with your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, make sure you guys check out Mary Ruth Organics. I will have all the details down below. Thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video.